The French teacher, Lucy Boutet, and I wanted to plan a trip together with our combined language classes for the purposes of looking at the two main countries that had the languages that we were teaching. I knew a little bit about the battle at Vimy Ridge from history class. I knew that it was a battle between the Canadians and the Germans for the French land. We planned to go across northern France through Belgium, and then we ended up in Amsterdam, took a night train to Berlin, and all along the way we saw different war sites. So we, we saw Ypres, uh, we saw Dieppe, we went and visited Hill 62, which is about an hour from Vimy. Um, and then even in Amsterdam, we saw the Anne Frank Museum. Um, and then taking the night train to Berlin, we took the kids through a concentration camp, Sachsenhausen. And then we also saw Brandenburg Gate. And so we did a lot of focus on the different aspects of uh, World War sites. When I arrived at the memorial, I was just, I was struck by the amount of green I saw. The, it was beautiful. Like, there were hills, which I later found out the rough terrain was grown over with grass. So that's why it was so bumpy. Um, and the trees were just, they were so luscious. And I was so surprised that it was this beautiful after so much destruction had happened there. Well, my wife was one of the teachers that organized the trip. Our youngest daughter was one of the participants. So I went along as a chaperone, but again, it, uh, it was neat to be there as a parent and uh, as a community member. I knew that about 3,500 people had died at Vimy Ridge, but I didn't get a sense of it until we saw the graveyard of the Canadians who had lost their lives. We spent quite a bit of time there, and that's when it really hit me that so many of our Canadians had lost their lives in this battle. For me, while I was in the trenches, I didn't realize how much destruction had happened there because it was so cleaned up after the fact. Once I got to the memorial and saw the, the statues and everything uh, and all the names and I realized the sheer numbers of people that had died there, I kind of went back and thought of the trenches and envisioned all these people and it was just, it was, it was quite moving for me at the time and now too. So prior to getting to Vimy Ridge, we had done a few of those um, sites in the north part of France. And we had also done Hill 62 around the same time, and it's more raw. So the trenches are the way they were. Walking through the tunnels at Vimy Ridge, there was definitely a sense of going back in time. It's weird to think that people 100 years before you had made those tunnels and had walked in those exact same places. So there was definitely that sense of being back in time. When you get to Vimy, the way it works is they generally start with the tunnels and there will be a guide who will guide you through tunnels and the teaching takes place in those spots. So they will walk and then stop, teach, talk, point things out. And then finally at the end, they take you to the big um, limestone memorial that we picture when we think of the Vimy Ridge Memorial. Uh, the memorial itself uh, is extremely powerful because again even though you can see it from a distance and you can tell that it's a tall sculpture uh, until you get close to it you know then it's uh, almost overwhelming in terms of how large it is. So one of the most powerful statues and I have a close-up of it is um, a figure that is got her head in her hand like this she's a quite a young person and it is representing Canada, really a young country. To them, we are so young, right? There, there's so much symbolism built into that limestone structure and, uh, and carrying the names of 10,000 soldiers who died, also very powerful. I remember seeing the Eiffel Tower. That was, that was probably my favorite part of the Europe trip. We went to see the Eiffel Tower at midnight when the lights were twinkling and it was just beautiful. I think the, the longest awaited food for me being part of the, the German class was the, was the spaghetti ice. Um, so that's a German de delicacy. Um, that's ice cream made into spaghetti noodles. When we were in Germany, there was this bakery kind of squished inside a grocery store and they had the best pastries. They were so good. We ate so many while we were there and then we took some on the flight with us too because we just couldn't bear to leave that bakery behind. 
I think it's important to have days like Remembrance Day uh, for two reasons, to honour the past, to remember the past, because the saying is that those who do not remember the past are doomed to repeat it. And when we look around the world right now, and some of the things that are going on, right, they're tough. And um, we can see that it's not easy even now in today's world. There are people laying down their lives for freedom, even as we are meeting here together today. Um, so when we go back and remember the historical places, there's power there. There's important things that we go, oh, wait, what can we learn from that? How nations work together to bring about peace, right? How they planned and how they sacrificed so that we can live in the peace and meet the way we are today. My second answer to that question is personal for me because I'm married to a police officer, someone who puts his life on the line on a daily basis. So it's good. There are a lot of people in our community who do that who um, stand up and um, take a risk so that they can keep the rest of us safe. So it's good to have a day to honor that. It's important to remember uh, because so many of us have that personal connection. Like my grandfather was in the war. My great uncle was in the war. I saw how that all the time when they were back home with their families and it still affected them years and years after the war. Um, we can't forget that type of thing because it, it took such a toll on them it's not fair to, to forget. I think that uh, Canadian history is a big part of who we are as a nation. It's important to remember who fought for us and why we can be free and why we can live in such an amazing country. Well, Remembrance Day is important uh, because I think we all want something to cheer for. And as opposed to hockey players or football players who uh, we sometimes feel they're heroes. Uh, I mean, really, they're just playing a game and entertaining us. Uh, but to remember those who, who truly sacrificed, who left their families for years, and, uh, you know, some paid the ultimate sacrifice and some didn't, but they were, uh, you know, scarred in many different ways. Uh, so that's powerful. And uh, so I think to, to honour them, uh, the few who are still around, but to uh, you know, remember those who, uh, who are no longer around, I think that is uh, a very good and important thing to do. If I went back to the Vimy Ridge Memorial, I would like to go as a teacher and take a class with me so that I could pass on that same experience that I had to my class.